Malolale or what is going on YouTube, I'm Masi and this is my class edit video on what I used for my 1911. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the clips before on what I used or of me trying to get a gold and uh, we'll just jump right into it. For the 1911, I just went ahead and they didn't have my, oh they do have my oil can. I didn't, so on the X16 I didn't really trust the uh, uh, oil can because uh, it was blocking the visibility with my uh, a little bit of my visibility with the IR with the red dial sight a little bit that just kind of bugged me and I figured it's not going to be any better with the X16 or with the 1911 sorry so I went ahead and jumped in and used the monolith expressor it still does the same thing suppression and damage range boost and use that for the barrel on the uh, barrel or the muzzle on the barrel now I went ahead and used the .45 match grade, does the most for my damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. And uh, the stalker is pretty good, doesn't do the uh, recoil control boost as like the uh, uh, match grade does. So I went ahead with the match grade, stuck with that, and we used that for the trigger action. I went ahead and used the lightweight again, faster fire rate, but best for most pistols if not all just spray it or you can just spray as you go uh also added or extended mags to my round or to my pistol went with the 15 because you only get seven about as i recall just the stock mag so i needed more if i was going to shoot that fast and went with the 15 rounds the most i can get and we're uh, same as X16, no side of hand this time, because it already reloads fast enough. May as well stick with that. Wasn't bad, and uh, we went with an optic instead, which I went with the mini reflex again. I just the mini reflex. I feel like is the best fit for me. I just prefer to use it the most out of all the or out of the other three or the other two. Apology, apologize. But uh, yeah, went with the mini reflex. And as we go through the camos, uh, the regular kills on spray paint, headshots, you can do that any with any of these other camos going on. Scratch kills, you don't really need any attachments for that. But for the hip fire kills on the dragon, I went ahead and dropped my optic again and put on a laser sight, the one MW laser. Went to shoe house for shipment and that playlist. Went ahead and just sprayed like no other got the kills done in hardcore and that knocked it out pretty quick i didn't either knocked it out one or two games i think this one i knocked it out in just one game of dom shipment it was really easy dropped the laser put the sight back on and that's what helps with the long shots it's a bit tougher to get the long shots on shipment but on shoe house is definitely the map you want to get your long shots on uh if you play that playlist still it's much easier to get things done, and uh, there's just a lot more spaces that you can get long shots on. And then uh, double kills, very easy enough. You just spray hardcore, small map, like shoot house and shipment, they're gonna be everywhere. You can get double kills easily. This one, you just need all five attachments on using all of the slots. This one's a shortly get kill shortly after reloading. This one's pretty easy if you just spray fast enough and then. Uh, Reload quick, get another kill, reload quick, get another kill. Really easy. And then this one, I just took off all attachments. Here, uh, that's the only way to get these with, with the camos, with the kills, and then get, kill three enemies without dying. It's pretty much that. And then knocked out the gold pretty easily on that, on this gun. Uh, if I'm be real, kind of, I think I knocked it out in like two and a half, two, two to two and a half hours. These pistols are really easy, so I can get knocked for you can expect these videos coming up real soon. And uh, going on there, I ran the riot shield again because I'm in hardcore and small map. I'm sick of my I'm already sick enough of my teammates killing me. So went with the riot shield with the beautiful 
Seattle Surge Camo. Shout out Seattle. Uh, rooting for those guys this year. Uh, the perks. Went ahead with EOD. You can run Scavenger as well, or even Double Time if you want to run around that fast. I just died too much to uh, lethal, Lethals. And so EOD is the best way to go for me. Hardline, I ran just to get my UAV and advanced UAV faster. And that knocked it out really quick. Uh, just one last kill. Uh, helped me and my teammates on knowing where our enemies are, where they're spawning at, and such. Uh, I also ran Ghost here and there, not as much, but you, uh, if you don't want to run Hardline, I'd recommend Ghost instead. Or even Kill Chain if you're running more and less UAV and more like, or less support type streaks and more uh, attacking. Just so you can get your kill streaks uh, faster. And then perk three around shrapnel just to run an extra lethal. Uh, Battle hardens good one as well. Reduces the strength of flash stun and EMP effects. And then tune ups, you can get your uh, field upgrades faster. Uh, like I said before, a lot of people are in tracker still at this time uh, that I've seen. So tracker's not bad too. You can go with that as well. And I personally don't use it. I like running shrapnel or battle harden better. But you can still use tracker. It's a good one. Uh, my lethal, I went with the Molotov. I'm on shipment and shoe house usually, so I just hug these across the map and these get knocked out real quick. Uh, you can also run Thermite. I like. I used to run Thermite a lot frequently, along with the Frag and Semtexes the most. They're not bad. I've seen a lot of people run T4 if you want to run on the small maps and just you know, hug it across the map. Double X, gone, explode, or they explode. They're not bad either. And then the my tactical I ran with flash and stun uh here and there not very like common hardly ever I ran uh gas grenade but if I had to pick another one I'd run gas grenade maybe smoke if you want to just go into hiding too you just sit in the smoke watch people come through and you can pick them off with your pistol it's not bad either uh, that's what I run on this class streaks uh like I said UAV and then advanced UAV with the around VTOL jet in the middle in between those two. Because I know it takes quite a while to get from UAV to advanced UAV. It's like an 8 kill difference. And so that's what I run on the kill streaks. Uh, field upgrades, I'll go ahead and run the dead silence, which you get really quick now after the uh, I guess the update came out and they just come by, or it just spawns faster. Uh, and then I also run munitions box on the other one, and uh, it's not bad. Swap the there, you could be swapping those, but either or, they're not bad. And uh, you can uh, go ahead with that, and basically what it run. Uh, that's basically it for that. And then, like I said, I just jump into shoe house. Hardcore shipment, hardcore shoot the ship, whatever it is. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, that's basically what I run. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. Also, subscribe for more. And then hit that bell for post notifications, and you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Thank you guys for watching, and YouTube. I'll see you guys later. Later.